This one goes out to James. My girl and I were on a nice date at the park the other day. Boy, oh boy, do I love her. She is just the sweetest, most beautiful woman I've ever met, I tell you what. She really is my whole world. I want to spend the rest of my life with her, you know? So anyway, I was planning on proposing to her, right? So I got down on one knee and pulled out the ring, and then who else but James should strut over to us and casually kick me over? And then he gets down on one knee and proposes to my girl with a ring that's like five times as big as the one I had brought, and she actually says yes? So now they're walking away, arm in arm, and before they disappear into the horizon, James looks back and flashes me with the same smug grin he always has. What the hell, James? I was about to ask her to marry me, and then you come along and steal my future wife? Why would you do that? Why? Oh, screw you, James. Screw you, James. Screw you, James. Screw you, James. So it was a bad start to my week, to say the least. After my no longer future wife was stolen by James, I had been feeling kind of down. I thought drinking a nice cup of tea might help me feel better, since I usually drink it to feel more relaxed, you know? I thought, hey, I'll even drink it out of my favorite mug. That's sure to brighten my day. My favorite mug is a white mug I bought that has a little picture of a cat on it, and it says, You've got to be kidding me. It's really cute. I think it's pretty funny. So I walk into the kitchen and head over to the cupboard because that's where I keep my favorite mug. But then I open the cupboard and I don't see my favorite mug. Instead, I see James who's crammed himself in there and was waiting for me with that stupid smug grin on his face. I say, James, what the hell are you doing in my cupboard? But he doesn't answer. Instead, he jumps out with a knife and stabs me in the shoulder before scurrying off. James, I've had it up to here with you. What kind of freak hides in someone's cupboard to jump out and stab them? Screw you, James. Screw you, James. Screw you, James. Screw you, James. I was really down in the dumps now, but I had to focus. I had a big recital coming up. You see, I'm taking lessons for this small flute-like instrument called a fife. I'm being taught by an elderly Japanese man called Mr. Yurimoto. It's not a Japanese instrument or anything, I'm just being taught by a Japanese guy. Anyway, on the day of the recital, I was really nervous. I had gotten all of that James business out of my mind and was fully focused on my fight performance. So I go out there and stand up on the stage and look out at who's in the audience. My family and friends are there and my dog and Mr. Yurimoto of course and even Ted the Milkman. I'm so glad all of these important people in my life were able to make it today. Boy I sure hope I don't embarrass myself in front of them. So I start blowing into my fife. But something's wrong. No sound's coming out. Why isn't my fife working? I blow as hard as I can, but still no sound comes out. 
I start blowing into the pipe to inspect what could be causing the problem. I look into the holes and see three loaves of bread have been stuffed into my fife. Why the hell is bread in my fife? Instruments don't get hungry. And being stuffed with bread makes it hard to play. Confused, I look out into the audience and notice that in the back, behind the lighting desk, is James doing his obnoxious smug grin. James put bread in my fife. He did it to sabotage my recital. James! You maniac! Why are you so intent on sabotaging everything? Ah! Now I'm gonna have to go buy a new fife. Do you know how expensive those are? Oh, you suck so much, James. I'm not stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid and you suck. Stupid sucking James. Wait, your, your name is James, right? I'm not very good with remembering names. I, I know you told me, but I, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's James, though. Although, maybe it's Andrew? Uh, but you know what? It doesn't matter. You suck no matter what your name is. James or Andrew. You suck so much that you'd even suck if you had a really cool name. Like Xavier or... or... Ace! Not even being called Ace could make you stop sucking! So screw you, James! 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 Stole my wife! Screw you, James! You stab me with a knife! Screw you, James! You stop breading my fire! So screw you, James! You ruined my life!